When you're in these aisles, you worry about your grocery bill. But if you ran a grocery store, you'd worry about your utility bill. The average bill for a store this size is $4,000 a month, amounting to as much as one-tenth of its operating budget. Most of that electricity goes to keep things cold or frozen, and grocery stores are mounting a steady effort to do that more efficiently. Increasingly, freezers have glass doors to keep cold in. Refrigerated cases have glass lips to keep the cold from spilling out. And stockers are instructed not to stack food above a certain height to avoid leakage. But most significantly, many stores are now recycling their heat energy. Well, just like your um, air conditioner at home, you go outside, you feel heat coming off the unit that sits outside the house. That heat, that same heat comes off our refrigerated equipment. We recapture the heat and put it back into the store and use it for heating. Because of the refrigeration that we have in the store, the cases and the coolers, etc., uh, heat is required longer in our stores than it is in a home. Some chains have made other energy cuts. They've reduced lighting in refrigeration cases. They're reducing the number of lights in the store as a whole. And they're moving to eliminate upright cases. Even by cutting consumption, chains are still faced with higher utility bills. This summer may end up having an effect on your utility bill, but it could affect your grocery bill too. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.